It is setting the bar time, Kelly. That's an example of what not to do or a situation we hope you don't find yourself in. Look, this may be a thing of the future where we see more and more of these stories as we realize the future is now. Driverless cars yeah, are I'm not, a thing I'm not of the totally, future. Yeah, well, it's not, it's not going to completely take over. Like, we're all not going to be, like, just hanging out in cars, not driving them forever and forever. Oh, like, all of us, right? So if you can manage to make it through the day without trying to steal one of those self-driving Uh-oh. car, then you're doing okay. <laughs> How do you work this thing? All right, so Reroute. listen. <laughs> this, <laughs> this dude, he's 33. He decided to hail a Waymo car. Now, uh, he knew that this was fully autonomous, right? These oh, cars, he did know this. Yes, okay. He knew yeah. what he's getting himself into? Right, exactly. So All right. instead of just getting in the car and letting the car take him to where his destination he plugged in was, he climbed into the driver's seat and tried to hijack it by putting the car into drive. Well, I'm here to tell you it doesn't work like that. Uh-oh. So Waymo realized he was trying to mess with the car. So they got over the little loudspeaker... And there was a representative that was like, hey, buddy, uh, we're going to need you to leave. And he wouldn't. So then the rep locked the doors, called the cops. Him back. Oh. <laughs> and so he was inside the car when the police arrived. I was going to say, couldn't he just program the car to just drive to the police station? Could they do that? <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> right, right, exactly. Good stuff. So, again, I don't know if this is going to be something of the future that we're going to have to worry about, but uh, at least for now, know that uh, that's going to be pretty difficult to try to uh, hijack a driverless car. That it, sounds like a pretty pricey car, too. Yeah, I mean, it I'm also guessing. it seems like it should be easy to do because it's like, ah, there's no driver. Right. But, but yeah, um, when they can just lock you in and say, yeah, just wait there. We're going to turn off the car and let you... Uh, just sit tight while the authorities arrive, then, you know, what are you going to do? I am never going to feel comfortable in a car, like, hands off the wheel, letting the machine do all the work. I'm never, I'm never going to get to that point I where swear, I'm okay I've, and completely trusted. I've been in some taxis where I would probably prefer a driverless car. To really? Th- oh, my. I've been in an accident in a taxi. Taxi really? literally got into an accident. They get out. They start screaming at each other. Oh, gosh. And then the light turns green. They they stop. They get back in the car, and they start going again. I'm just like in and the then back. And they don't, they don't even like work no, it out? No, no, oh, okay. no. All and, right. and I'm just in the back going, um... What do we do now? Do I just leave? What do I do? I don't know what I do. Do I still have to tip you? (laughs) I know, exactly. (laughs) All right, there you go. That's your set to the bar story.